everybody doing today? You know, I know it's been a long time since I did a video and so much is going on since the last time I did a video. We have this pandemic of COVID-19 going on and, you know, just a lot of craziness. And also, y'all, I'm in a whole nother state. I'm doing, I'm on a whole nother new journey. I am no longer in Texas. I am now in the great state of Pennsylvania. I'm going to call it great. I haven't even seen a lot of it yet, but I'm going to call it great anyway. Okay. <laughs> now, like I said, we're going through this pandemic. And, um, you know, it's, it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay, now, the reason why I'm doing this video is... Uh, it is now mandatory in the state that I am now resided in to wear face masks. But uh, due to the fact that I have my own ideas and there are other people that back it up that, that's really going on and it's really not necessary. But to be compliant, I came up with another idea because I'm not going to wear the face mask. But I am going to cover up and I'm going to be like I said, compliant with the laws of the land, okay? Because if I'm driving the car, it has a stop sign, I'm going to stop for the stop sign. So, uh, I came up with this idea to be compliant, okay? It's something that I wear every day, and I just use it to, you know, do the covering for the mask, okay? Now, what I'm going to show you guys how to do is take a regular scarf, and uh, do a face veil, or the highly call it Nagab, Nagib, however you pronounce it, Nagib. Okay, I have this scarf right here. You guys see me wear this all the time. A lot of people always ask me how I did it, so you get a chance to see how I did it. My head is already, I got my turban, and I just call this a drape, okay? So, we're going to start. We're going to make sure our ends are even. And then I usually take it like so, and then I put it here, around like this. And then I take it, and things cook it, and I tuck it right up in here. And when you tuck, it's not going to be all the way over there. When you tuck this, you're going to have a place where it automatically folds. Depending on how much of a fold that you want, you pull this out some because I don't want the fold all that thick. Okay, then I'm gonna fold it. Okay, like so, because I don't need it all that thick. And then I'm just gonna bring this around. I knew I would have my hands would be be crooked. I mean, uh. It'd be different when I did it on the camera. Okay, and depending on how if you how close you want stuff to your neck, I don't really like stuff too close to my neck because I'm kind of ticklish and it bothers me sometimes. So I usually put a couple of fingers here, and then after I do that, pull it a little bit. Then I just take the other side, like so, and bring it up. And then I'll tuck it too. And I pull it out to make sure, you know, it's, it's not too uh, bulky of whatever, whatever. Okay, now we got it tucked. And then I'm going to take a pin. So it'll stay in place. And I'm just going to pin it. Pin it down. And then you pull this part up. Okay, it's, it's really easy. It's very simple. Okay, now I'm going to take the sides and I'm going to pin them the sides down, okay? Let me make sure I can. Okay. All right, now I got this part. All right, now, then from here, I would usually pull out my little menorah necklace, you know, and let it hang, because I know y'all see me wear that, so I pull it out to let it hang. Now, the part I have 
added, okay, the part I have added to be compliant with the laws of the land is this. Okay, I'm going to take the bottom of my, because this is hanging down, okay, especially I'm using a longer scarf to do this because usually the scarves are a little bit shorter, but I'm using a longer scarf. Okay, now I'm going to take the scarf. And I'm going to put it across here. Let's see where I want it. Okay. And then I'm going to pull it just a little past where I put the first pin. And I'm going to take another pin. Right and I'm going to pin that up. And I'm going to take the next side. Depending on how tight you want it, here's where you loosen it up. See, I'm loosening mine up right here. Okay. All right. And plus, my glasses are holding it up too. Anyway, then I put my next pin in. All right, then you take it and you just adjust it. All right, there you go. Now, you got your face veil on and you're, you're compliant, okay? Because they just said cover your mouth, you know, basically. So this is how I do it, all right? So I hope this helped you guys out that wanted to see how I did it. And it's a lot easier to breathe in, too. You can feel the air actually when you're outside come through it, you know, because when I first did it, I went and took a walk to see how it is. It was, and it was windy outside, so you can still feel the air. <clears throat> anyway, I hope this helped you guys. I hope it was easy enough to understand and um, that you give it a try. All right. I also like to say, this is the first time you ever watch one of my videos. I'm going to say, let me take this off, I don't need it on. I'm going to say, subscribe. Hit the um, notification bell for when I, when I put up new videos, you'll get notifications. Uh, I know, like I said, I know it's been a while since I did one. Okay, you guys, thanks for watching and stay tuned because I will be having new videos coming up. Since I'm now kind of situated a little bit halfway. You know, not all the way there, but almost there. So with that, you guys, I'm going to say shalom.